name's Russell Hughes, and I work here at Sunset Learning. I'm here to talk to you today about IPv6FD, or formerly known as the IPv version 6 Fundamentals, Deployment, and Design. So pretty much what we go through in the class is some orientation about IPv6 itself, some of the services that are supported in a Cisco router. And we go through pretty much all of the routing protocols that are supported in IPv6, so OSPF version 3, EIGRP, ISIS, multi-protocol BGP, and RIP next generation. We spend quite a bit of time on making sure that we know how routing is actually going to work and how addressing within IPv6 actually works, how DNS, how DHCP should work, uh, how really how the operating systems themselves behave with IPv6 on there as well, which is a big deal to a lot of people when they're going through and looking into a transition to IPv6. We also spend some time on things such as multicasting and making sure that we can get multicasting enabled for IPv6. We spend some time on transition mechanisms of rolling over from an IPv4 environment into an IPv6 environment. We spend an awful lot of time on just really talking about some things that really have nothing to do with a Cisco type of class, as a matter of fact. Very kind of non-vendor specific with vendor specific labs, if you will. Right? So pretty much all of the labs pretty much deal with uh, Cisco, Cisco routers and switches. They deal with uh, XP, we have some Linux, we have some uh, other operating systems such as Windows 7 within there as well. So we spend a lot of time on talking about other operating systems, not just Cisco's iOS as well. Uh, we also spend some time talking about service provider environments using Six Provider Edge and Cisco VPN Provider Edge as well. So I can't wait to have you guys in class at some point in time, and we'll see you guys later.